Now let's talk about more examples that involve covalent bonding and those examples are called giant structures. Now you guys are only responsible for graphite and diamond. Now let's talk about some of the physical and chemical properties of both. Let's start with graphite. Well, as you see from the diagram, you guys are not responsible for those diagrams, but I just put them there in order to clarify what I'm going to say and make it easier for you to understand and imagine. Now, look at this. Graphite is a layered structure. There's the first layer, the second layer, the third layer, and so on and so forth. And those layers are attracted to each other using a very very weak force so let's establish this so there's a layer structure plus there is weak forces between layers now let's talk about graphite now not the diagram well graphite is a form of carbon and in the structure of graphite a carbon atom is covalently bonded to three other atoms let's see so the carbon atom as we know has four electrons ready to be shared now in this structure carbon is bonded to three other carbon atoms like this so there's a bond here a bond there and a bond here now there is a free electron right here this electron is free to move so free electron okay now this makes graphite conduct electricity and also since there is weak attraction between the layers this makes graphite very weak and slippery and this allows it to be used for lubricants now let's move on to diamond let's discuss the diagram right here so diamond is also a form of carbon but let's see the difference between graphite and diamond well in this structure carbon is covalently bonded to four other carbon atoms so like this there's a bond here a bond there also one here and there so four other atoms unlike graphite graphite there is three bonds and there is a lone electron now this strong covalent bonds the four covalent bonds make diamond very hard and that's why diamond is used for cutting in factories so it's used in cutting machines now also since there's no lone electrons diamond does not conduct electricity now that's that for the comparison between diamond and graphite now let's move on to something similar to the structure of diamond which is silicon dioxide so let's write this here silicon dioxide and this has a similar structure to to diamond so therefore silicon dioxide is very hard and also 
it does not conduct electricity. Now, also one thing to add is that it has a high melting point. Now, that's that for the giant structures. We talked about the graphite and diamond and we, dis we discussed the differences in each structure. So I hope the diagrams made it clear for you guys, but you guys are not responsible to know these diagrams. It's just there to clarify things and make you imagine how stuff works. So good luck and thanks for watching.